Hey, Chris Matthew here. I was approached by Steve Riano, who is our aviation practice leader for Bechtel, and uh, about creating a mobile application for the Airport Consultants Council's 2012 Global Business Summit. So this is a big conference. A lot of important attendees uh, will be present. And uh, the requirements were to create a, a mobile application that shows the agenda, the speakers, the bios, important reports, etc. But that this be available for desktop and laptop users as well as any device. So iPhone, Android, Windows, tablets, key, key, uh, phones, etc. So here's what I put together. It's an HTML5 based um, jQuery mobile application. And it, there's a small little uh, Node.js script uh, that uh, is basically just acting as a web server here. So it's just uh, sh sharing the files. And uh, when I run this real quick, you'll see how the site works. So if we go to like Agenda, it's very responsive. You can see it popping while I'm running at localhost, but I'll show you that uh, even uh, on a, uh, an iPhone or iPad, it's very responsive. You can look at um, uh, the meeting, the presentation, see the speaker, click on the speaker's name, get their bio, look at other um, events that they're hosting, and there's Steve's photo right there. Um, so you can kind of plan your day around this. Um, but what's really cool is let's let me pull it up in the simulator. So here is the uh, the iPhone simulator, and if you look at this, you can go to agenda. You can look at all everything happening. We can say, oh, let's see what's on at this time. Uh, here's all the speakers. Let's look at this one. Plan on attending that session. So you can see how how that's pretty cool. Um, what I also like is how responsive it is. So you can see it all just formats uh, based on the the uh, size of, of the device and the and the display. So like even if we were to go to the desktop version and shrink this thing down, you'll see it's very responsive. Like down to mobile, down to like tablet, or all the way out. And um, here's what it looks like on an iPhone. And if we go to like speakers you see it's very responsive. There's a little Ajax uh, thing that pulls back all the speaker information. And if we turn it on its side, you should see also that it, 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 the portrait changes to landscape and it's all very responsive there as well. But here's the best part. One of the requirements was that this also behave as a standalone application since we were not sure what the um, the Wi-Fi conditions looked like at the conference. So there's a, a, a not a so well known feature in uh, HTML5 called manifest caching. And what manifest caching does, it lets you pull all of the assets of the app down to the device on the first time it hits a page. So all the images, the HTML files, etc. So I'm going to kill this uh, set my Node.js hosting session. As you can see, it stopped. Now watch this. I'm going to go back to the application. This is the best part. I love it. And when we click on pages, everything is there at our disposal, even if we've never been to the page before, because it's using HTML5 uh, manifest asset caching. And this works for every device, too. So as you notice, I go back to my, my, um, my device here, and I can click on, uh, let's see, April Redmond. You can see it all just uh, continues to come back and work offline, any device, Windows, Android, uh, iPhone, iPad, Surface, um, or desktop or uh, laptop. So there you go, HTML5, jQuery Mobile, and HTML5 Manifest Caching. I'll put this uh, a post together with all my code on GitHub. See ya.